Joe, the man of the match, against these. Help out on Jay Will as he cut to the basket. Herter finds the bonus on a roll. The rookie leader in three point percentage. Herter to bonus. He's probably going to look to probably be more aggressive with the basketball. What a baseline. Well, got cut into the basket. You find him right at the rim. The bucket for this is the second time he's done that. Murray the other night on Sunday as well, including a, a backbreaker in the fourth quarter. Isaiah Joe on the baseline. Weak, weak spot for the Kings. Murder on the blow by. And he can see out of this Thunder defense. And that's probably the cause for the quick timeout. Jay Will in the pocket of 94 feet. <laughs> Mitchell comes running into the a lot of time left in this first quarter, let alone the game. Isaiah Joe, a clean look from behind the arc. Giddy on the baseline, bullies his way down low. Somehow flipped that that is from what we saw from him as a rookie. And just how more physical he presents himself on the offensive end. Course of time. Giddy attacks and play to the whistle. You, you don't play what you think teams are going to do. And Wiggins is going to get it right back for the corner three. How about that? Your guard. There's the bonus again. Create the defensive rebound, be the one to push the break and start the offense. Man in the corner, this time on the catch and shoot. Now Murray on the attack. Sabonis cleared out man with the off arm. Knows how to use that body and stay under control. Sorry with the pump fake slide. As a player, he shot at 39% from three with Phoenix. Has been in that second unit here for the Thunder as well. Sound like that had to make you proud there by J-Rock. You, you love that. And you have to do that against him. Matthew, he's one of those guys. Matthew, to the style of play that the Thunder like to play with. He's got already. Well, I was about to say, Isaiah Joe is an amazing find by the front office of the Thunder. That was an amazing. Make an impact in short minutes and be ready to really start sprinting from the very outset of your time on the floor. Well, Colts would have taken a lot of contact. And, and you know. Gets into its defensive position. And met. This is the fourth time this season that Sacramento has scored 40 or more in the OKC, keeping this one in striking distance. And now. A chance to add Kendrick Williams with the Wiggins gives it up right back though. And Trey Lyles who out of Kentucky. He's bounced around to Utah, Denver, San Antonio, and Detroit before including loose balls recovered. They're second in the NBA in loose balls recovered per game. So night after night, they are first. Josh Giddy was not the inbounds passer on that one. And he finds Wiggins though. So Giddy gets deep. Got blocked down low in the trees. Wiggins retreating, gonna try to catch Monk. But Monk has. You keep generating those kind of looks and they will knock down for you over the course of time. As wing, that ball would have nearly gone out of bounds, but it bounced off. The you know, he, he's what we call that, what, Swiss Army knife? You know, I'm sure all our military families would understand that. He could do it all, folks. He was team in the history of the NBA and youngest team as well. Dort drives, finishes. And there he is, Joe, complete player. Starting a three on two fast break. Giddy misses, gets it back. Giddy was doubled, found a cross court pass for Dort. He nailed that. Down and they found it. Still waiting on a boom from him tonight. Sabonis has seven triple doubles on the season. Beautiful Nash dribble, kick out for... They've stuck with the plan and they're making those tough shots. Sabonis rolls to the rim. I have no... 370 point game between Detroit and Denver back in 1983. And you don't allow the Kings to score any more baskets here. Great drive. To carry that over here in the second half. Thank you so much, Paris. Quick stop for the Thunder on one and Jay Will on those side pick and roll actions. J-Dub got held by Sabonis on that closeout. He's still in his rookie campaign, too. Giddy turns the corner. That's a neat call on his own number. Barnes goes in. This guy's still got a lot to learn in this game. They got a long runway, all of them. Oh, and I thought with baseline got bottled up by Sabonis. Could have easily been a foul call also, and things really... 
have their bread and butter is getting out in transition, just like this opportunity right now. Murray to Barnes, and he finishes that reverse layup. Swing, swing, pass in the corner to Mitchell. He's been hot from three, and this one, Murray, after a couple seasons, really, without there being much of an ability to get out face-to-face -face in the community. Tino burst by Sacramento. Sarge down low, patient. Fit the floor, got back there, got that rebound. Popped right back up, and now he's in the mix. He helps Aaron Wiggins with his second three. And you're exactly right, you'll take that right now. 30 pace with them. You gotta continue to score and focus on that end of the floor. As Sarge, 48 games for Sacramento, getting about 11 minutes a night. That role player we were talking about earlier, Michael, about how difficult. And by making some of those hustle plays, the 50 50 plays, they are continuing to keep themselves in position, barely rimming out for the Thunder right now. Kendrick Williams sticks with the play, and he's gonna finish with more before the fourth quarter. Joe, open, pump fake, buries the fly. Around Oklahoma City participated. I know that had, had to mean so much to them to have you up there to deep from the field. Sarge, jab step three out top. And it was the first time since early in that first quarter. So the Thunder had a deficit. One, now it's a four point deficit. Let's see if OKC can get over the hump here in the fourth quarter. Kenrich, baseline, two in and slip. Nine minutes to go, and Sarge trying to body up some bonus. Take a couple of dribbles, almost like a crab dribble, and then go all the way. Turns yeah. blocking and tapping on that play. Just throw down there, break. <laughs> 98. Sacramento going to Barnes in the post, swinging the ball around to Murray. Basketball, you got 25 assists, 50 points in the paint. That's, that's been really a big saving grace for you. And, and John is just hanging around and not allowing the Kings to pull away. Giddy bodied up Barnes. That is, Sarge had a good look at that one. But now the Kings playing five on four as George trying to get back into the play. And Barnes is... This is a... Different lineup than perhaps we've seen all season. Way with right now, you could get away with the past three quarters. Keegan Murray. A great finish by him. Did their job. Just made a tough shot. Fourth overall pick in last year. Sabone is late in the process. The Thunder really had their eyes open to him during the workout and interview process, and he has been a revelation. So they can pressure and. He disrupted. That's a great pass in time by JR. Down to five on the clock. Herder flashing into the corner. Mitchell with nothing left on it. And he hits the starting lineup. He's got 13 points in this one. Kenwood, Kenwood. Under five, just about under five seconds. We'll put the pressure on them to try to get a shot off. And Mitchell, isolation play. You got a good contest on it. And Davion Mitchell knocks down the three. J-Dub's gonna... Loose ball on the deck. J-Dub slips. And he's gonna... But this one's gonna end in a 123-117 loss for the Thunder. Great resilience all night for OKC. Really mirrored what we saw on Sunday. As yeah. My hands steady, I feel ready, but my legs heavy, I don't get it How come I haven't hit it already? Still working, I'm still learning, I'm still searching for